Flipping right now, dozens of residents have been forced out of their homes after their condo building was deemed unsafe. Local 10's Bridget Matter is following this one for us live. She's in Heron Pond in Pembroke Pines. Christy, this is really emotional for people living here. One woman was in tears telling us she doesn't know where she will go with her three children and she doesn't have enough money for a deposit on a new place. Another woman just dumped $7,000 into her unit for renovation. Everyone here has about one month to figure out what's next. People living in the Heron Pond condominiums in Pembroke Pines have until late August to find a new home after all 19 buildings were deemed unsafe. One woman says the place has gone downhill since she moved in 10 years ago. From the beautiful to the worst. I mean, it's, it's sad. It's very sad to be here. I used to love to be here. This morning, everyone woke up to these signs ordering evacuations. It says the buildings must vacate by August 29th. Gian moved in two months ago and didn't even know about the new order until we knocked on his door. My reaction on it is actually very shocking. I didn't know that. He says at move in, he was warned to stay off the balconies. They're saying the balconies could fall down at any time. August of 2023, Local 10 first told you about cracks in the buildings and steel supports. Then in September, we reported an additional six buildings were deemed unsafe and people living in them were ordered to leave. Engineering Services notified the city of Pembroke Pines that remaining structures needed to evacuate, affecting about 170 units. Now people living in the remaining units don't have much time to figure out where to go or what to do. Are you disappointed? Completely. So everyone has until August 29th, but if at any point between now and then this area is under a tropical storm advisory, everyone must evacuate immediately. For now, we're live in Pembroke Pines. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News. Okay, Bridget, thank you. Now to a court case here in Florida.